Remember, when we go back to our implied domain, ladies and gentlemen, is there any restrictions that are given? Is this a piecewise function? Or we, do we have any restrictions on our domain? No, right? So therefore, our implied domain is that our domain is all real numbers, right? That's our implied domain. It's all real numbers. There is, they didn't tell us any restrictions, right? So our implied domain is all real numbers. However, we know that if we have a variable in the denominator, that that variable cannot, um, I'm sorry, if we cannot make that denominator equal to 0. Okay? So it's not that zero can't, x can't be 0, because what happens if x is 0? 5 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 15 is 15. That's, you can easily plug in 0 in for that. It's not going to change the exam answer. But what we need to do is if what we need to do to find the domain, even though it's not going to be all real numbers, because we know we can't divide by 0. That's what I um, had there. We can't divide by 0. So therefore, um, to determine the domain, we're going to set denominator So set your denominator equal to 0. And then solve. Okay? Because if my denominator is equal to 0, I, my, um, if my denominator is equal to 0, it can't be a part of my domain. So I solve. Okay? So the only number that does not work my assum implied domain was all real numbers. However, based on those two restrictions I wrote down, x cannot equal negative 3. Because if x equals negative 3, my denominator becomes 0, right? Huh? It would be, it'd be undefined, right? Because you can't divide by 0. So originally, the graph, uh, actually, I'm not even going to go to the graphing route. So here's how you write this in interval notation. I don't want you guys to write all real numbers. We're going to be practicing uh, interval notation. So all real numbers can be written like this, negative infinity to infinity. On a graph, you're going all the way to negative infinity, all the way to positive infinity. Right? Yes? OK. However, at negative 3, it, we're either going to have an asymptote or a hole. I don't know what it is right now. We're not going to worry about figuring that out. We'll learn that something later. But all we know is the graph stops at negative 3. There's, it's not continuous. It can, at negative 3 cannot be a value in our function. It's not in our domain. So to write our domain in interval notation, we need to label all the steps of what we're doing. Do you have a question? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, it's still going all the way to negative infinity, but our function's only going to go up to our whole or asymptote, which is labeled at <coughs> negative 3. Then there's this whole or asymptote, so we have to cro you know, cross over it because it can't equal negative 3. And then from negative 3 on to infinity, we're still good though, right? All other numbers were good. And then we just connect those with a union. So the domain of this is negative infinity to negative 3, union negative 3 to infinity. Huh? Union is connecting them together. So, or think about that, or the sum. You can think of union from Venn diagrams if any of you guys did that. No? Just think of it as like the connection. You're adding, kind of bringing those together. Okay?